What were people saying about you? They were saying that I couldn't be a feminist and... And have boobs. And have boobs. That's not yeah. true. Feminism is about giving women choice. Feminism is not a stick with which to beat other women with. It's about freedom. It's about liberation. It's about equality. It's not... I really don't know what my tits have to do with it. It's very confusing. The guide shares his experience yeah. in writing. He's brave. If a woman shares her experience in writing, she's oversharing and she's she's over emotional or she might be crazy or watch out, she'll write a song about you. Yeah, well, that joke that. is there is that. But that joke is so old and it's it's coming from a place of such sexism. When I am assertive, I'm a bitch. When a man is assertive, he's a boss. He bossed up. He bossed up. Yeah, he bossed. No negative connotation behind bust up, but lots of negative connotation behind being a bitch. I was waiting for you to smile at some of the compliments. You didn't. She's being Smiling real. doesn't win you gold medals. Uh oh. Okay. People who are gonna say, oh, you know, like she just writes songs about her ex-boyfriends, and I think, frankly, that's a very sexist angle to take. No one says that about Ed Sheeran. No yeah, one says right. it about Bruno Mars. They're all writing songs about their exes, their current girlfriends, their love life, and no one raises a red flag there. If you could use makeup or your phone one last time, which one would you pick? Makeup or your phone? Is this one what you think time? girls have t trouble choosing? <laughs> yeah, I, can you really go anywhere without your cell phone? Yes. How long Ooh. can you go without looking at Twitter? Many Is hours. Are hours. Many hours. I don't believe it. Absolutely, yeah. I have to do it. But, you know, when I'm at a dinner table, I like to be present and talking. Good like quality. That. Eye contact. Ladies learn. Ladies learn. Yeah. Yeah. Listen yeah. and yeah. learn, yeah. ladies. Boys learn. Oh, yeah. oh. right now we got our. Have you seen the new boys and girls? We can all learn. Yes. One thing that. I do believe as a feminist is that in order for us to have gender equality, we have to stop making it a girl fight and we, we have to stop being so interested in seeing girls try to tear each other down. It has to be more about cheering each other on as women. And that's just kind of how I feel about it. There's Taylor beef. Clear There's that beef a situation. Up. Honestly, it's really like she started it, and it's time for her to finish it. And I tried to talk to her about it, and she she wouldn't speak to oh, me. You? I'm ready for that BS to be done. I think personally that women together, not divided, and like none of this petty. Say it. Say it, sister. Women together. Say it. Will heal the world. Say it. She said it. She said it. So I'm really proud that as a woman, I got paid. And you know why? I got paid like more than pretty much any guy that's ever been on that show. And by the way, I love men, so I'm a paid woman and I'm ready for a beautiful man. I uh, would really like to thank Sports Illustrated for recognizing me, not just as sportswoman or sports of the year, but just sports person of the year. And uh, of course, for me, none of this would not be possible without um, Jehovah God giving me the strength to do not just as sportswoman or sports of the year, but just sports person of the year. But I just wanted to ask you, as you were reading the script, did you ever think, why are all these women in here? I thought this was supposed to be a man's movie. No. <laughs> not for one minute. Um, what's your favorite position? CEO. CEO? Oh, I like that! Yes, yes, yes! High five! the Tony Stark character and did you learn anything throughout the three movies that you made and to Scarlett to get in, into the shape of Black Widow did you have anything special to do in terms of the diet eat some specific food or that sort of thing like how come you get like the really interesting like existential question and I get the like rabbit food question but here he is interviewing Anne Hathaway apparently she was there was a picture taken of her when she was getting out of a car at a uh, some type of uh, premiere, the guy who taken the picture got really low, took a picture of her crotch, essentially. Wardrobe malfunction, 
mm. the other night. What's the lesson learned from something like that, other than that you keep smiling, which you always do? Well, it was obviously an unfortunate incident. I think it kind of made me sad on two accounts. One was that I was very sad that we live in an age when someone takes a picture of another person in a vulnerable moment and rather than delete it and do the decent thing, sells it. And I'm sorry that we live in a culture that commodifies sexuality of unwilling participants, which brings us back to Les Mis, exactly. because that's what my character is. She is someone who is forced to sell sex to benefit her child because she has nothing and there's no social safety net. And I, yeah, so um, so let's start, so let's this get back to Les Mis. the most creative <laughs> terms of a question I have ever heard, and I'm going to take it at that. That's fine. Our image has always been kind of painted by men or for men. So when you see a girl take a selfie in public and she's literally in control of how she wants to look and how she wants to be portrayed, there's such power in that. Now, were you able to wear undergarments? If You're you the, like the fifth person that's asking. Well, no, that because it, what is going on? <laughs> What, since when did people start asking each other about, in interviews no, about their no, underwear? No, this is not a, is what I, it, 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 well, is, well, is huh? it inappropriate? To ask somebody what kind of underpants they wear? I didn't ask you what kind. You just asked me if I was wearing any. You are in phenomenal shape. Thank you. You had to make sure you were in perfect shape for this one, didn't you? It was about being able to do the stunts and the fighting perfectly. What was that suit like? It had to be comfortable to wear, but it looked like it was so form-fitting, was it? It was fine. I think Christian had it worse in the bat suit than I did. I didn't have my ears covered. Is there a certain regimen you put yourself through in terms of the diet, the workout? What is the feline fitness <laughs> regime? <laughs> it's just watch what you eat and get yourself to the gym. Any particular workout? Are you trying to lose weight? Well, like, what's what's the deal, man? You look great. No, no, no. I, no, no, seriously. That, we well, have to talk you. about this. What what do you want? Are you trying to fit into a cat suit? I just wanted to show the legs, because as I was telling you ahead of time, you're going to walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. I'm not going to walk home with any men tonight. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to go hang out with my friends, and then I go home to the cats. No men allowed. Men get me in trouble. <laughs> Are you going to ask for the men that tonight? Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you just do. I think in the same way that everybody else does, you know, I mean, you, you have your work that you love and then you make sure that you have time for um, your life and for the people who are important to you. How frustrating is it when you're linked to another Hollywood star, and even if you're, you, you've barely met them? Very frustrating. Almost as frustrating as being asked about it. Yeah, you yeah. don't like going there. I mean, it's, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. Some things that singer Lord said about right. being anti-feminist because you know you're sexy and you're right. proud of being sexy. Right. I appreciate everyone's opinion, especially because I've covered her music uh, lots of times. Yeah. I think she's super talented, um, and I think it's awesome. But I think at the same time, feminism and that specific thing is very sensitive because, in my opinion. It's not feminism if you're tearing down other artists. People labeling Selena as Justin's F. Well, Ariana saying, I'll never be able to swallow the fact that people feel the need to attach a successful woman to a man when they say her name. I saw a headline, draw your own conclusions because it'll be so much drama that I don't want. They called someone another someone's ex and that pissed me off. This person has had so many great records in the last year and she hasn't been dating him forever. Call her by her name. When will people stop being offended by women showing skin slash expressing sexuality. Men take their shirts off slash express their sexuality on stage, in videos, on Instagram, anywhere they want to, all the time. The double standard is so boring and exhausting. With all due respect, I think it's time you get your head out of your ass. Women can love their bodies too.